All right, so we're going to uh, inject the knee uh, to the knee joint. We're going to use the uh, standard super patellar pouch lateral approach. So the probe goes short axis over the quadriceps tendon. And we're going to take our needle, bevel up, and we're going to aim for the uh, potential space between the quadriceps tendon and the fat pad, which lies right over top of the femur. And we are ready. So we're going to travel down. So the, to get my needle in that level underneath the quadriceps tendon, I need to slide down the side of the knee about two centimeters for needle entry close to there. And we're going to advance the needle. And my needle is, looks like it's in the joint space right there. So let's we'll see if we get a little puff of fluid there. And I'm injecting, and there's no visible expansion of the fat pad or the quadriceps tendon, so I'm in the joint. So that is the super patellar uh, pouch injection technique to get into the knee joint without putting the hyaline cartilage at risk um, underneath the patella for the classic Jackson technique or the anterior portals, the classic Hackett Hemwell technique that we're taught. Um, so the next technique I'd like to show you is um, the modified Jackson technique using ultrasounds. We have the patient lying on their side and this I would use this technique if the joint space in the suprapatellar pouch was just not cooperating. Um, we can put the probe over the lateral patellofemoral joint space. We can uh, sublux the kneecap laterally and that opens up a potential joint space there. And then we can slide the needle underneath the probe and I'm in the joint right there. Okay, and then we, we inject. So that's a, that's a good fallback technique for a patient that you're struggling to get the knee into the suprapatellar pouch. Um, the next technique I would like to show you on the lateral knee is a short axis technique to get the needle in the popliteus tendon. There it is, okay. So make sure the probe is in proper position. We're going to do a short axis technique. Put the tendon in the middle of the screen and enter about a centimeter away from the probe and go down into the tendon right there. So that's a perfect position of the tendon. Okay. Uh, we could also go show you the uh, getting into the lateral um, meniscus into the body of the lateral meniscus. If you had a tear here, same thing, short axis technique, one centimeter away. And my needle is in the meniscus right there. Okay. So we could also show you long axis technique of getting the needle into the lateral collateral ligament right there. And this is kind of a backhand technique for a more advanced technique. But we are going long axis under the probe here, just like that. Okay. And I'm in the insertion of the LCL onto the fibular head right there. If we wanted to get into the uh, tib fib joint, the proximal tib fib joint is right in the middle of the screen there. And we can get into that for an unstable tib-fib joint in short axis. Right there. Okay, so I'm in the joint right there and we can put a little fluid in there. Okay. All right. Um, the only other area that we have not shown you is the, uh, the IT band insertion, which is right there. That's a good shot of the IT band. We can inject that short axis or long axis. 
So that's that's a short axis technique right there in the, in the insertion area, and that is a very effective uh, treatment technique. Okay, next section will be the medial aspect of the knee. And to find the adductor tubercle where the MCL originates, we're going to use the short axis slide from the VMO down. You'll see the femur rise up, and that's the adductor tubercle right there. So once we're in the body of the MCL, which is there, we'll turn, we'll pivot the probe 90 degrees, and now we, we have the MCL lined up perfectly, and we can inject the MCL in long axis. And that's my needle placement into the MCL, okay? So if we wanted to inject the medial meniscus in short axis, put the uh, coronary ligament and medial meniscus over the center of the, of the screen, and that'll be our target, and enter about a centimeter away from the probe in short axis. And that's my needle right there, okay? So that's in the MCL medial meniscus interface right there. This is a very healthy um, medial meniscus. It's kind of hard rubber to pass the needle through. Uh, unlike our patient's beat up medial meniscus, that's kind of like uh, injecting a sponge. All right, and then we can uh, inject the MPFL on the medial patella. So there's the patella. And that's the MPFL right there. So we'll slide the probe away from us to get that target closer to the probe. And go in long axis. And that's it right there. Okay. Um, last one we'll do is, a, is the patellar tendon. We'll put the patient's leg in flexion. And this will be a long axis technique. Right there. And that's my needle tip in the tendon right there. Okay, so that's it. That's most of the targets in the anterior, medial, and lateral knee.